So welcome everyone to the 2021 SOA Center of Taiwan Studies uh, Summer School. This is our 14th SOA Center of Taiwan Studies uh, Summer School. So we first created the uh, Center of Taiwan Studies School back in 2007. And at that point in, in time, it was a very small uh, event, usually only covering uh, two days. And then gradually, over the last 14, 15 years, it's expanded into um, a um, basically a five day festival of, of Taiwan studies. And I would say that along with the uh, European Association of Taiwan Studies conference, uh, the SOAS Center of Taiwan Studies Summer School, I think has become one of the most popular um, Taiwan studies events in the European Taiwan studies uh, calendar. This is the second year that we've run the event as a online uh, event, um, but we do hope perhaps uh, next year to do it as a, a mixed event. In other words, it'll be uh, hopefully it will be on campus, but it will be also something that we can also um, run as a online event uh, um, as uh, as well. Now for each year, uh, we try to run a different set of uh, themes um, for the uh, the conference. And uh, this year we have two core themes. Uh, one of them is uh, post new wave Taiwan cinema, um, which is a, uh, a program that my colleague colleagues uh, Zhang Biyu uh, and Zhang Xiaoyi have uh, have put together. And um, uh, Zhang Biyu is going to talk a little bit later um, uh, about this um, uh, cinema project. And the second um, big theme of this week is environmental issues in Taiwan. So we're returning to a, um, uh, a topic that we looked at back in uh, in 2013. Um, and we can see the continuity both in terms of the scholars, but also the in terms of the environmental issues that uh, we're uh, we're tackling. For example, back in 2013, we talked about the fourth nuclear power station, and uh, today we're continuing that uh, discussion, both with um, uh, Wei Yang and Simona, but also in um, uh, Ke Jinyuan's uh, documentary uh, film. Uh, but we're going to look at environmentalism in Taiwan through a range of angles, through activist dialogues, such as the uh, the first uh, session, through um, discussions with environmental scholars such as Paul Joban and Simona Grano. But we'll also look at it through the lens of environmental uh, literature and documentary um, uh, makers, such as our session with Ke Jinyuan uh, later this, this week. Another um, uh, sub-theme that we have is we are going to revisit our popular um, um, lecture series, Taiwan Studies Revisited, but this time we're going to revisit it through the lens of environmental movements. So we will have two scholars revisiting their earlier work on Taiwan's environmental movements. Additionally, we tend to have a number of um, smaller sub themes and this year is no uh, exception. Uh, for example, we will be looking at the topic of publishing in Taiwan Studies. So we have we'll have one session where we have book series editors um, uh, talking about their experience of promoting Taiwan studies publications. But we'll also have a session where we have um, where we'll look at writing Taiwan for general audiences, where we'll have some practitioners talking about their experience and advice. And a further constant feature of the SOAS Center of Taiwan Studies Summer School has been student research presentations uh, and these will be held on the Thursday and most of these presentations will be students presenting their works in progress uh, that they're working on for the dissertation projects on um, uh, on Taiwan and the aim of these is to gain uh, feedback um, from the teaching team but also from their uh, their peers and one of the things that I think is always really exciting is to see the way that students research that's presented at the summer school often will be the uh, starting point for uh, more in-depth studies. Um, and 
Uh, every year, including this year, we have people coming back who formally presented um, at the um, student panels, such as Isabel Chung, who presented back, I think, in 2008 and is now part of the, uh, the teaching team, uh, or Chen Yixin, uh, who we have in our book launch um, uh, this afternoon, who is now a parliamentarian in Taiwan and first presented uh, at our uh, student presentations. Of course, we also have some standalone uh, events, such as our dialogue with the Taiwan's digital minister, uh, Audrey Tang, I think on uh, Wednesday. Um, and we also have a single standalone event looking at the topic of Taiwan's campaign against the uh, death penalty on uh, on Thursday. So we have a really packed um, and exciting uh, program, and we hope you will enjoy the program. Um, and now let me hand over to my co-director, John Bayou, who's going to talk a little bit more about the Taiwan um, cinema um, project. Thank you, David. Uh, can everyone see me well? Hello, everyone. So I'm Dr. John Bayou. I'm not the co-director. I'm the uh, deputy director of the center. In the next five days, we will be seeing a lot of each other, right? As David just mentioned, there are really amazing uh, 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 lined up uh, uh, of lectures, uh, book launches, uh, act activists uh, uh, um, discussion. Um, he covered the first part of this year's theme, and I'm covering the second one. Uh, the two major themes of this year, as David uh, mentioned, is uh, Taiwan's environmentalism, and the other focus is placed on Taiwan's contemporary films. Indeed, for many of us, this year's summer school has already started last week with the 2021 Taiwan Post New Wave Cinema Series. Uh, uh, we screened 23 films, it's record breaking. Uh, we are delighted to host so many uh, amazing film screenings and film related events. So this week, we have got a star studded lineup of filmmakers and academics from directors, Q&A's, roundtable discussion to film analysis and lectures. So in the 2021 summer school, we have engaged seven directors. Can you imagine that? Uh, this is another record breaking, including uh, more established uh, directors such as Yang Yazhe, Chen Yuxun, Chen Xingyi, Ke Jingyuan, to much younger uh, generation uh, female directors such as Huang Xi, Li Yishan, and Li Chen Dingning. And also we have three film ac uh, academics, you know, including Fan Qing, Wang Junyi, and Chen Ruxiu. So throughout this week, we will have at least one film related event every day apart from Thursday, of course. Uh, for Thursday, that's really your day. It's a student's presentation and, of course, part of the environmental um, uh, topics. But basically, Thursday, uh, I will encourage everyone, um, presenter or not, you should really come. Not only encourage your fellow students, but also you can challenge or support or make, make friends. Okay. So for the film uh, session, you know, for this uh, this afternoon, we will be welcoming director Yang Yazhe this afternoon, right? You will have plenty of opportunities to ask him questions and especially discuss the recent uh, 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 really popular TV series, Tian Chao Shang the Mo Shu Shi, The Magician on the Skywalk. Similar, Q&A sessions will be held in the next few days with prominent directors such as Chen Yuxin and Chen Xingyi. Tomorrow, we will hold a roundtable discussion exploring the long overlooked issue about contemporary women's cinema in Taiwan. Women's cinema is also a new focus of this year, and this, themes, uh, this theme has aroused a lot of interest even before the summer school starts. 
Uh, I have received a lot of inquiry about this uh, roundtable, so I, I encourage you to come and uh, take part in the dialogue. And by Friday, we reach the high point of Taiwan Post New Wave Cinema Series 2021 with a whole day of film lectures and director's Q&A session. So David, I'll stop here.